It's not always obvious what a young carer is. It's not always obvious who we are. It's not always obvious that sometimes we need some support. It's not always obvious how you could help. A young carer is a young person who cares for a relative and is under 18 years old. The relative might have a disability, illness, mental health condition or a drug and alcohol problem. Because none of these things are obvious, we have worked with Young Carers and the Bridge Young Carers Service to create the Young Carers Neighbourhood Charter. The Charter is all about helping young carers to be able to access support when they need it from a range of different organisations. I'm here for fully action. Okay, that's the fine, I'll let them know. Thanks. How and why was the Charter developed? So the Charter really came as an idea from young people and grown-ups together combined to think how can we do something quite simply um, that doesn't take a lot of resources, a lot of people, a lot of time and a lot of money yeah. to make a big, big difference for young people. The Charter seems to be working well at a local level. What about the bigger picture? What impact have you seen across healthcare services in County Durham because of the Young Carers Neighbourhood Charter? So the Young Carers Charter has really helped us remind staff in the CCGs about focusing in on young carers' needs through the work that they do. We've also really been able to encourage our GP member practices to take up the Charter and we've seen 22 practices sign up so far. Hello. We're here to see Dr Morales. OK, if you just want to take a seat and we'll mark you in, thank you. You know, as a doctor, I um, have come across um, young carers and, 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 and seen how difficult it is for them to come forward, to, um, to even sometimes realise that they are young carers. It's an area that I didn't know much about and I felt that I needed as much help as possible. So once I found the, the Young Carers Association, you know, I uh, thought that it would be a really good idea to get in touch with them. Um, then I realised about the Charter and I thought that it was a great thing to get. I think it would give my GP practice um, something to be really proud of and I look at it as a sign of quality. How has the Charter changed the mindset of the staff in this surgery? The most important change so far is the uh, awareness. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like people are uh, knowing about young yeah. carers and that's already a massive, massive step because before they didn't even know. Yeah. Um, so the charter being talked about and I hope that they now think more about young carers um, than they did before. Yeah. Um, it's also changed uh, uh, the surgery at other levels. For example, um, uh, we discuss young carers in regular meetings amongst all the other doctors and the nurses. The most important change in the culture is that we are now actively talking about these. The Young Carers Charter can really help organisations just stop and think about the little things they can do that can make a big difference to carers. It's good news for young carers that the Neighbourhood Charter is adopted by as many organisations as possible. It means that our voices will be heard and we don't have to cope on our own. With support we can try to be young people again. If you would like to find out more about the Neighbourhood Charter or anything else about young carers, please get in touch with the Bridge Young Carers Service.